Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim. Today we're going to do a walk around video of our 2014 Volvo XC90 D5. In this video, we're going to go around the outside of the car, inspect the quality of the vehicle, and we're going to sit inside, go through some of the features and the quality of the interior as well. So we'll start at the front and work our way around. Now, looking at the front of this car, you can see it's got that, that nice Volvo R-design shape across here, and the white is broken up by this nice dark grille with a big silver Volvo badge right in the front there. We'll get, uh, each, uh, each side has got some window washers as well, which pop up because this car does have those nice bright HID headlights. Uh, as for stone chips on the front being the most common thing that we'll find on the front of a car, uh, there are a couple of very minor ones on the front, but I'm trying to be as picky as I can for you, just to give you a very good idea of uh, the quality of this vehicle as well. There's a couple hiding down here, but otherwise it's, it presents very, very well. There's no scratching in the vehicle either. Uh, if we move around now to the front, the first wheel, see that this car does have what appears to be a brand new tire and no, no scuffing on this wheel whatsoever, which is very good to see. Uh, so far, it's looking like this car has been very, very well looked after. We do have our silver side mirror cuts with our built-in side indicator. I quite like that design. It brings the indicator nice and high, making it very safe and very visible to other people on the road. We've got a nice panel down the side of the door here. There's a little chip out of it, but what that does is that actually protects the metal on your door um, because that's quite easy to replace as well, which is very good to see. And we've got a nice brushed uh, sort of steel look running along the bottom of the side skirt as well. Uh, as for um, stone chips down the side of the car, I'm not really seeing any. Like I said, the front of this car did present very well uh, and it looks as though it's been very, very well looked after by the previous owner. Moving now to our second wheel, we got once again what is practically a brand new tyre. A little bit of scuffing here, but otherwise nothing else. That's just a little bit, nothing to be too concerned about. I'll point out that the alloy rims here do have a nice dark grey against the lighter grey sort of contrast with the Volvo badge right in the middle. Uh, five spoke rim, very attractive looking rim to go on this car. As we move around the back you'll see that we do have these nice big red uh, tail lights which go up the whole side of the car, giving a good symmetrical uh, look across the back of the car as well. We've got our D5 all wheel drive badge on one side, our XC90 badge on the other. Now I'll open up this and the tailgate does open nice and high and we've got our nice privacy blind as well. This car is a seven seater and we've got the back row of seats up just to sort of show you what sort of room you have in the back if you do choose to, to just have the seven seats up and uh, go shopping as well, which is very good to see. Very practical and when the seats fold down, uh, they do fold down quite flat and you've got a nice little panel here to help level out the, uh, the back of the car. Got a nice handle up here that you can pull down to shut the back of the Volvo and the nice silver um, garnish across the back there. We do have color coded rear sensors as well as a rear reverse camera just off to the side over here. Moving around now to our third tyre, we've got once again what appears to be brand new tyre with another alloy rim in perfect condition with no scuffing. So, so far it's just, this car is presenting just as well as I thought it would, it's been a very well maintained vehicle. A couple of minor chips down here into the paint that we can see, otherwise it's looking very, very good. Now getting around to our last wheel, we've got a little bit of scuffing here. This is the rim that's most prone to scuffing and a little bit over here as well. And once again, practically brand new tire. So now I'm gonna pop the bonnet of this car and we're gonna have a look at the engine that is underneath. Being the diesel and the D5, this does have a five cylinder engine, uh, which is very good. Gives you a nice amount of torque and power while driving and you don't really feel that turbo lag, which is good to see. You do reach under the front Yeah, just there it is. There it is, there's our Volvo engine. The engine bay is presenting just as clean as the outside of the car. Like I said, very, very well maintained vehicle. Now this, this uh, engine is a 2.4 litre five cylinder uh, turbocharged diesel producing 147 kilowatts or 420 newton meters of torque. Behind this is a six speed automatic gearbox and the all wheel drive system. With a 68 litre tank, we can expect around 8.8 .8 litres per 100 k's or an average fuel distance of 773 kilometers per full tank of fuel. Now moving to the interior of our car, we're gonna go through the quality of the interior and go through some of the features as well. Now being a Volvo, it does have some uh, design points which is shared across the whole range, even in the, the brand new additions as well. Over here to the right, we've got our side mirror adjuster as well as full electric window control just here with the nice leather into the side door. Um, no scratching around this, which is very good to see and very big broad armrest as well. 
Now, if I move the steering wheel to the right, you'll see this car does come with three keys, which is very good to see. Two of them with the central locking button, and one is just a simple master key, just in case you get stuck. Now, you've got your handbrake release uh, button here. You set it with your foot, and you pull on that to release it as well. Uh, it's very interesting design that Volvo have used. I quite like it as well. Uh, Mercedes also use a similar design. Um, you've got your headlight controls down here. And on the right hand side, being a European car, because Volvo is a Swedish brand, you do have your front and rear windscreen wipers. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel, built to fit in the hand very, very nicely. Bluetooth controls on the right, cruise controls on the left. Moving the steering wheel around now to the other side, we've got our indicator on our left control arm. The instrument cluster itself has got this nice blue on the dials to sort of break everything up. If we move to the center, you'll see you actually have this, uh, this screen up here, which pops out. Um, and that's where your reverse camera is displayed as well. I'll quickly throw the car in reverse to show you what that looks like. And when we actually turn the car off, uh, it does lower down into the dash, uh, hiding that, that middle camera away, which is very, very good to see. Moving down to the, the center here, I'll just turn down the, the fan speed a tiny bit for you. It's a little bit hot today. We've got our full hard button controls for our Bluetooth for our phone, as well as CD player and all of our media controls either side of this little LED display screen here. Just below that, we've got our dual zone climate control hard, hard buttons, as well as our child lock and mirror fold-ins. So you can fold in the side mirrors and you can lock the window so you don't have children in the back constantly playing with them. 12 volt charging socket in the front with this nice uh, brushed silver nice finish around here a little bit of wear from someone resting their hand on the gear stick but nothing too serious going on there the, le the leather around the boot seems to be very very good condition as well we've got a little storage compartment here which has two cup holders in it nice lid to sort of blend it into the rest of the car you can use it to store things in as well nice leather wrap center console lid now if we open that up we actually do have a nice little remote here uh, which is for the the bluetooth as well and it's a very deep storage it's got a couple of little lines there i guess that was originally designed to put CDs in, um, so you can do that as well if you so choose to. Um, if we divert our attention now up to the roof, we'll see we do have a sunroof up here. So we pull that open, we've got controls just in the center, so we just sort of pull that back. And it just operates very, very smoothly, which is good to see. And you can just pull this cover over if the sun is quite hot and intense like it is today. I'll point out this car has done 43,000 Ks. Now, while I get my camera person to scan around the interior of the car and show you how the rest of the car looks in the back row of seats, I'm just going to have a quick look at our service history. But considering it's only done 43,000 Ks, I can't imagine the service history being anything but great. So let me just have a quick flick through here. So we got the first service done at 14, one at 29, and then we've performed an intermediate service on it as well. At <clears throat> at